Hello, this is the fifth in a series of short videos from Informed Choice Limited in support of Financial Planning Week. My name's Nick Bamford, I'm Executive Director of Informed Choice. And I'm Andrew Nelligan and I'm Financial Planning Director. I wanted to put some questions to Andrew uh, in this last video of ours about those people who are at or post retirement. Um, there's an awful lot of choice, isn't there? If you've got a pension fund, about how you convert that pension fund into income. Do you want to just briefly describe Absolutely, some of those Yeah, things? there's a lot of choice, um, and unfortunately, choice can sometimes uh, bring confusion and apathy. Uh, I think the important thing is to understand what retirement's going to look like for you and what you want to achieve in retirement, and also how much risk you want to take with your money because leading up to retirement and your pension fund and your other savings and investments, you might have been exposed to some degree of investment risk. But perhaps during retirement, you want to either reduce that or take away any risk at all. And so, depending on the outcome of that, your choices will be funneled down to a particular outcome. For most people, we find that they don't want to take any investment risk and they just want a guaranteed income in retirement. Yeah. And that looks like the annuity option. But some people say, well, I've got a, a long time to live in retirement and I might not get the best annuity rate at the moment. And they're willing to maintain some exposure to investment risk. And that's where drawdown can come in. Uh, and that is, in that situation, they can still receive an income and their tax free lump sum from the pension fund, but they've still got the chance for investment growth as well. But importantly, I'd also say is think about what you're going to do for your spouse as well, because it might be that, uh, if I can be uh, stereotypical for a minute, the husband has got the large pension fund and the wife is reliant on income. So you need to think about how you build a wife, uh, in, wife's income or a, a husband's income should you uh, pass away before she does uh, or he does. And also there's the uh, importance of looking at inflation uh, because inflation does have that effect of eroding any value of income over the long term. So you need to think about whether you adopt that as well. I was talking to one of our colleagues um, earlier today about this subject of um, long-term care and the amazing cost of funding care for the elderly. So I suppose after you've made the decisions about how you're going to take your retirement income, at some point it's possible that you're going to have to look at the other subject of, uh, of care fees. That's right, and it's uh, a very difficult and emotive issue for people to look at because they're often dealing with their parents uh, and looking after them. And there you need to understand about uh, how much capital you need to provide to meet the cost of care which is getting more and more expensive. The average cost of a care home in the UK is around 30, 30 to 40,000 pounds a year. Goodness. And finding that income is very difficult. There are state benefits that can help, but if you have personal wealth over 23,250 pounds, you're gonna have, have to self-fund. And then again, you need to think about what investment risk you might want to take, or whether you're just buying an, an income. And the other one, I guess, is the, the big issue for, for this group of people is, is inheritance tax. Everybody thinks it's an awful tax. And uh, I mean, is there, are there things that can be done to mitigate that? You certainly can. Uh, the general rule of thumb is you can't have your cake and eat it. So if you want to be really tax efficient, you need to think about giving away capital now. Um, if you want to remain, uh, keep control of any capital you have, then you can take long term factors. So the important thing is to think about it as soon as possible and put a plan in place using some trusts uh, where necessary. Okay, so summarising that, um, three things really. One, consider all the choices and options you have if you're at that point where you want to convert your pension fund into income. Um, be conscious of and aware of the fact that long term care is so costly in the UK today. And if you want to uh, mitigate the liability of your estate to inheritance tax, you know, start doing some long-term planning now.